Hi, I'm Virginie from Clan Yogis. So in this video, we're going to practice yogic breath, or also called diaphragmatic breathing or belly breathing. The term diaphragmatic breathing makes me laugh a little actually because we use our diaphragm in every breath we take. So essentially, every breath is a diaphragmatic breathing. Anyway, I digress. So I made the first video. If you haven't checked that one out yet, just go ahead and do it now. They will make a lot more sense. In this video, I was explaining um, why and how slow breathing and those breathing techniques that we learn in yoga and are used kind of widely across Western medicine now are so effective in improving your health. So today, focusing on yogic breath, which has got loads of different benefits. So from increasing the oxygen levels in, in your blood, in your body, to making your breathing more efficient because you're working that diaphragm muscle. So essentially, you're working that muscle, making it stronger. To calming stress and anxiety by stimulating your parasympathetic nervous system. Again, all that is explained in that first video. So first, I'm going to explain how to practice the yogic breath, and I want you to watch it. And then we are going to practice it together. So yogic breath is using the full capacity of your lungs. So if you think of your lungs, so those two sacs that sit in your chest, you've got your diaphragm muscle that sits just in between your chest and your belly. When that muscle contracts, it pulls into the belly. It creates depression in the lungs, which sucks the air in. As you breathe out, that muscle just relaxes, recoils back up naturally into the chest and expels the air out. So in yogic breath, we are going to use the full capacity of our lungs. So most of us in our everyday lives are very shallow breathers, meaning we only use the upper part of the lungs to breathe. But as adults, we forgot how to breathe properly. So diaphragmatic breathing or belly breathing is really focusing on your inhale and sending the air down to the bottom of the lungs. So as you do so, you're going to feel your belly expand. Then the air fills up the upper part of the lungs, so the chest is going to expand. As you breathe out, the chest is going to collapse back down in the belly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a block and if you want for the first time you're practicing this if you've got a block at home just go ahead or even any other light objects it just makes it a little bit more visual and a little bit easier to really feel the movement and concentrate on sending the air down to the belly so i'll show you first and then we can practice together so i'm going to lie down on my mat stretching my legs out so you see it better. But for you, if you want, as you come down, if that feels better for your lower back, you can bend the knees, take the feet wider, and soften and relax the knees against each other. So I'm going to place my block onto my belly. So you're going to watch. I'm going to take two deep breaths here, so two rounds in and out, and you're going to see what I mean. So hopefully you've been able to see this. So as I was breathing in, my block just left it as my tummy expanded and then the chest may have not been that visible. And then on the exhale, I went down through the chest first and then down on the belly and I just squeeze my abs a little bit more on the end, allowing a little pause for all the air to get out. So let's go ahead and do this. Come and lie down onto your mat or your floor. And again, as I said, if you have got a block or a light object, just please go ahead and use it on your belly. If not, it's absolutely fine. 
If you're stretching the legs out, keep the legs a wee bit wider than the hips and allow the feet to soften out and relax to the side. Keep your arms alongside the body. Create enough space between the body and the arms so you can comfortably turn the palms to face the ceiling and soften the shoulders down onto the mat. Tuck your chin in slightly so you don't get the back of the neck. And close your eyes. This will help you concentrate and focus onto your breathing. So we're going to breathe in and out through the nose, keeping your inhale and exhale at equal. So first, just go ahead and take some long, deep breath here in and out through the nose, just simply slowing your breath down. Just getting that focus onto your breath. Try to pay attention and focus on feeling your diaphragm muscle. Feel it pull into the belly as you breathe in and feel it recoiling back up as you breathe out. Take a few deep breaths here, nice and slow. On your next inhale, just go ahead and try to send the air down to the bottom of your lungs first. Feel the belly expand. Then feel the upper part of the chest filling up, spreading the chest and collarbones apart. As you breathe out, just let the chest collapse back down first. Then the belly. And as I said, if you wish, just give a little squeeze of those abs to get the air out. Allow a little pause and breathe in again, deep down to the bottom of the lungs, to the belly, to the chest. As you breathe out, chest, belly. Try to keep your breath smooth. So I know sometimes we are not used to it in the first few times that we start to practice this type of breathing. It almost feels like our breath stutters like it catches it's fine it's okay and it's absolutely normal you need to learn to do this deep breathing again so take your time with it do not judge yourself do not get annoyed or frustrated just simply observe that breath notice if it stutters and catches keep going with it and come back just keep focusing on that diaphragm muscle pulling in feeling that belly expand and collapsing back down the end. Ensure that you're not creating any tension in your face, in your shoulders, your hips, the buttocks. Are you still clenching those glutes? Relax and soften the body down. Deep breaths and belly, chest, chest, belly. Let's go and practice two more rounds here. Just let your breath return to a normal breathing pattern. Just stay for a few moments here with your eyes closed. Feeling and appreciate this lovely moment of calm. When you feel ready again, you can just bring your knees into your chest on your inhale. And exhale to wrap your arms around and give yourself a big cut. Gently sway from side to side if you want, just to release the lower back. And when you're ready, you can come back up to a seated position with your legs crossed. 
There you are. Hopefully you can already feel the benefit of practicing this yogic breathing. And again, if you felt like your breath was catching, that it didn't feel natural, like it was stuttering, it's absolutely normal. And please don't beat yourself up about it. Like anything else, it just takes practice and it gets easier as you practice. Be compassionate towards yourself. Don't judge yourself and keep practicing this lovely technique and you will feel the benefit all over your body, through your health and for your mental health as well, calming stress and anxiety. So if you enjoyed this video, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to go and check out these other videos on breathing and yoga. Until next time. Namaste.